Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to Curtis's Corner. If you're new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner. And on today's video, we've got a boxy charm to unbox. I don't have anything on as per usual with my boxy charm unboxing videos because whatever products we get in these boxes, I end up creating a full look using only the products that I can use from these. So we're going to open this up. We're going to see what we've got inside. So if you're interested to see what's inside, then keep on watching. Now, very quickly, if you don't know what a BoxyCharm is, it is a subscription service where you pay $25 a month US, you get some goodies, full size goodies, and you just get skincare or hair care or makeup. You do this little quiz and it will curate a box just for you. Now, if you would like your own and would like to try it out, I will leave a link down below so you can try it yourself. Ooh, hi! Already pre-opened it, like to get it ready to go. So we've got Boxy Charm Go All Out. That is the theme. We get five boxes. This is the base box. Next month, hopefully sooner this time rather than later, I will be getting the Boxy Lux, which is an extra subscription. Um, so every third month you get like a huge box. So I'm excited about that. So let's see here. Laura Geller. Okay. So the Laura Geller, the Casual Collection Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette. So that's what it looks like. Contour, color, and create bold or subtle looks with these everyday essentials. So, okay, so it's going to be an eyeshadow palette. So it comes with 12 different shades. This is the Casual Collection. So let's take a look. Oh, wow. It's very, very sleek. Not what I was expecting, especially considering the, the box. Oh. Hi, me. How are you? Um, not my favorite color story. Like, at all. That's not my favorite. But it is what it is. Um, we'll, we'll try something, but this is, give, is, this is giving me, like, Avon vibes. How much does this retail for? $45? the boxy exclusive I really don't think I'm going to like this but we shall see dr. Lily fan where are you who are you this one okay cool is there anything even in here seems very light oh yeah no there is it's just really like punched in what is this lash enhancer what interesting help at night to help you get gorgeous latches with continuous use, grow longer and fuller lashes in four to 12 weeks. This retails for $68. You better work. <laughs> so I will be trying this, not obviously in this video because it's not anything that I can use, but I do wanna try it. What angers me though is look at all this wasted space. Like why? What do we got next? Frank body. Is that this one? It is. Frank Body, Booty Drops Firming Body Oil. Drop it like you're hot. Booty Drops is a firming body oil to help smooth you all over. Each drop is packed with caffeine to firm, guarana to energize, carrot root extract to hydrate, plus grape seed and jojoba or jojoba, I'm not really sure, oils to soften skin and get you glowing. Drop it straight onto your booty for soft and firm skin or mix with your moisturizer for extra perks. $17.95, booty boosting caffeine. I mean, it says it's a body oil. So, caffeine, a butt forklift, and baby soft the booty with grapeseed oil. Is it only for your booty though? Like everything is telling me is the booty, but then everywhere else, I don't know. I don't know. Is it for my booty? What are you? Oh, that's this, okay. The Truly Beauty Pineapple Hay CBD Glossy Lip Butter. Ooh, that's what that looks like. It looks, first, I'm gonna need you to focus here, thank you. It looks interesting. It's very thick. Soak in the benefits of hemp, jojoba, and vitamin E to hydrate and condition your lips while protecting them against everyday environmental aggressors like the sun and dry weather. Da, 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 da. Perfect daily balm adds a juicy shine to your lips while locking in moisture all day long. 
You can even smother it on before bed as a nighttime repairing lip mask. This retails for $16. <gasps> oh, oh, it smells glorious. But look at that. Look at that texture in there. It's like a little icing dollop. Oh, it smells nice. It really does smell nice. And our last item is by Manakadar Beauty, a hydration happy face mist. Soothe and refresh tired skin with a mist that preps skin for a hydrating base before makeup application. This mighty mix of minerals wakes up skin, leaving you ready to take on the rest of your day. So, it said before. Does that mean I can only put it on before? Close eyes before missing. Well, I hope so. I don't know. I don't know. Really, the only things that I can try are these in today's video. Well, and I guess the lip mask. So I'm just gonna put this on and let this soak in and moisturize before, uh... oh, it's hard. I was expecting it to be like squishy. It is not squishy at all. It's very much hard. Mmm. Mmm. CBD pineapple mango. Ooh, that's why it smells good. That feels, mm, that feels wonderful. Anyways, I'm gonna let this soak in. I'm gonna apply some moisturizer and uh, we shall be right back with a full beat on aside from this Avon monstrosity. Stay tuned. All right, I am back. Everything is all on, as you can see. So now let's dip into the Laura Geller Casual Collection Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette, AKA the Avon Palette. So again, this is what it looks like. Not, not exactly my cup of tea, but we'll make do. In case you are wondering, I am wearing the Rare Beauty Foundation and Concealer. I'm wearing the Jeffree Star Setting Powder and the Luminous Finish. I also have on Jackie's products. Can I call you Jackie? I'm doing it anyways. I've got some Jackie products on. Uh, Jacqueline Cosmetics. The bronzer, the blush, uh, the highlight, and the lips actually um, are all her products. And I actually have in the center, just to lighten it a little bit, add a little more dimension on the lips, is um, a little moment from Lime Crime. All the information is down below in the description if you're interested in seeing any and all these products. Uh, browser by e.l.f. That's all I've got on so far. So, we're gonna dip in to this palette. I'm gonna just do a mixture of a bunch of brushes and hello you. I wish they would have the shade names on the front and not on the back like this or even on the, like, that's annoying. Um, whenever I create my own palette, which by the way, if you would like me to create a palette like this, because I already have some ideas and I've actually already put together one um, just as like a concept. Yeah, this needs a gloss. This needs a gloss. I'll add it later. Anyways, mm, I'll add it later. Mm, I can't, I have to add it now. So much better feeling. Okay, perfect. So yeah, so as I was saying, I do already have a concept for my own palette. I've got many palettes right up in this little noggin. So if you wanna see what I have to create, you gotta subscribe, you gotta like the video, you gotta share the video, get me some more subscribers, and maybe one day I will bring out some stuff. I also got ideas for merch. So if you want merch, you also gotta hit that like button. So we are gonna go in on, I'm going to assume Breezy. Breezy is this shade right here uh, in the top. What is going on with this brush? Jackie, your brushes, your brushes are going cray cray. Okay, there is a lot of kickback in this shadow. So that's not fun. Run this all over the lid actually. Just to set everything into place. Oh, kind of give us like a base. Oh. Jackie, your brush bristles are getting in my eye. Lots of kickback, wow. Like, look at this, I'm gonna dip in again. Are you ready? The amount of puff that came off of that. All right, so this should make everything blend 
super nicely together. So on the same one, uh, wow. I'm gonna go into this bottom shade right here. And that is the shade Simple, I think. Same brush. This is gonna go into the crease. Again, a lot, a lot. Do you see that? Do you see how much kickback is on that? There's a lot. So I'm just gonna run this through the crease here very messily. Just gonna add a bit of kind of like a shadowy cast there. Going for it, dip number two. And we'll just build it up slightly. Pigmentation is okay. But it's like, I'm not a fan of this color. I'm not a fan of any of these colors. Like there's barely, barely anything. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my JH34, that last brush. I don't even know where it is now. Is it this one? Yeah. Last brush was a JH30. I'm going with my JH34 brush now. We're gonna dip into the shade just to deepen up the crease. Smooth, and that's this top one right there. And that's just going to deepen our crease. Hopefully, we shall see. It does, but it's looking muddy. This is not, not one of my Favorite look so far. Okay. I guess that's fine. We're gonna do, wow. Nonchalant, which I believe is this brown one. I don't know. Same brush. We're just gonna dip into that. Nice chocolatey brown. And this is gonna go on the outer corner here. Just kind of stamp it. Just like that. That on both ends. And then just kind of run it. Just like that. Just kind of feather it onto the actual lid there. And just whatever's left over, kind of drag it into that crease towards the inner portion of the eye right into the crease though. Like keep it really into that crease. I'm gonna go in now with, I'm just gonna go in with my finger on this one. Informal, that's this one here. That's gonna go all over the lid. It feels nice. That's the swatch that it gives. That's the swatch, I don't, Let's just see. Although there's a big chunk. This shade is not that great. All right. And I'm like rubbing back and forth. This is nothing to blink an eye at. Hmm. Nope. That's like Eh, this is literally very, very lackluster. It's so light as well that I don't even know where I've gone up to, like at the crease. Like, that could be fine, I don't know. On an M124 brush, I'm gonna go into this shade down here. I believe it's called Peaceful. Unless it's called Serene, I'm really not sure. Like, I don't know if, like, if this one is, like, the one that's directly behind it, or if it is the same way that you look at it, but I don't know. So I'm just going to dip into this one. This is going to go as the inner corner. Also, extremely lackluster. And I'm like, I'm barely capping it off. So there should be some pigmentation. I know I'm going on a dry brush, but still, there should be something. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not even gonna tap off at all. 
maybe a little because that was really chunky but I'm like pressing it oh <laughs> there that's a little bit better but still okay and then I'm just gonna mm, force it on and then brush it in it's a little better okay on the bottom I think I'm honestly I'm just gonna go in with the the brown make sure the brown and maybe that like reddish color beside it just to add another color of dimension and that one is effortless and that's just gonna go on the bottom here the pigmentation is okay but it's the colors the colors are not it for me. All right, I'm going to go finish these eyes off camera and I'll be right back with my review for the boxy charm. Stay tuned. Okay. Eyes are all done. Everything's looking subpar. <laughs> so, my verdict on the boxy charm but actually, let me just spray myself down. This will be the third time that I'm actually using this. Mm. All right, so here's the tea. The box itself. I'm excited that I got the body oil to firm up and make my skin look nicer. I will be adding that into some moisturizers and doing that. Am I excited about the lash serum? Absolutely. I've always wanted to try lash serum. So I'm excited to have finally gotten a lash serum. Just want to say quickly before this video ends, um, I did try this. Um, not a fan because I put it just on the lower lash line to start. And as soon as I was done lining it, my eyes started burning. So, not for me. Uh, it literally started getting like hot, so I rubbed it off immediately because I don't want that. We're not gonna talk about what's over there. Not for me. So, that's a pass. <laughs> um, however, again, I'm wearing the lip balm mask thing, and I love it. I'm very disappointed. Maybe I'll try a different lash serum that's not going to burn my eyes. And no, before you ask, no, I did not get it in my eyes. It literally said to put it on the lash line. And I put it here, just on this eye, I could still feel it. <sighs> not happy with it. The spray. I don't, it's definitely hydrating. It feels hydrating. It feels nice. It smells wonderful. It's, it's so nice. I like the smell of it. It feels nice it doesn't feel like it's like drying or anything on my skin so that's good it creates a nice little dewy effect as well so that's nice um so i do approve of this the lip butter i thoroughly enjoy i love the smell i love how it feels and it's definitely super super hydrating 100 percent we'll keep using that this 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 we don't know her she's never being used again she will never make a reappearance on this channel unless it's a flops of 2021 i despised the color story i despise the colors themselves the they don't look nice the shimmer on the lid atrocious it's absolutely atrocious it does not come up as it should it had potential and the fact that it's called casual what about these colors are casual nothing palette is a no-go for me do i think the box is worth it it is definitely worth it you are definitely getting way more worth than what you are actually spending however if you're going in like i did my quiz and had it be heavily on makeup to be sending to me the fact that the only makeup product 
in this box was this. Kind of shows BoxyCharm doesn't really look at your quiz. Why you would have to do a quiz and specify if you want makeup, hair, or skincare, and then they just send you anything that, regardless. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think that's a little bit silly, especially if I have not so often slash never as hair care and skin care and often to always for makeup and yet the only makeup product I get in this box is a palette that is not great at all especially for what it's worth something fishy's going on however don't let this box fool you I have plenty of others you can check out my playlist of other boxy charms that I've opened and played around with and there have been some very good boxes there have been some showstoppers in the boxes themselves so I will say that you can go check all those out uh, and if you do want to get your own box again there is a link in the description so you can get your own you don't have to but it would be amazing if you did because I don't think you would be relatively disappointed. This box was not a disappointment to me. I liked all of the products except for one. Out of the five products, one I did not like. So it's not actually a disappointment of a box. It's a disappointment in how I've asked for makeup and I get more skincare or hair care, hair growth, serums, stuff like that, instead of the makeup that I specifically asked to get. But that's beside the point. Anyways, Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out weekly videos and hit that notification bell because if you don't, how else are you going to know when I post the brand new video? You won't, so do it. I'm off to go create some more palettes and get my color stories out and ready to go for the future. Hopefully you want to be able to see my dreams come to fruition. So if you do, don't forget, again, like, subscribe, share, because that is the only way that I will be able to make my dreams come true. So thank you. If you are already subscribed, thank you for staying in the friend zone. If you are not subscribed, please, friendships, do subscribe and join the friend zone. But until the next video, which is going to be a good one on Monday, bye, friendships.